first um, started this job as a flight attendant, um, there we go. I got the app Tinder. And when I first moved to Charlotte, since that was my base, I got on Tinder. I didn't have a car at the time, so I kind of used that as an advantage to get to know the city by, you know, going on dates. So, of course, I went on a lot of dates. A lot of dates took me to the same place. And I'm like, this is it? Like, this is the best y'all could do? A lot of people, when they find out I'm a flight attendant, they're like, oh, can I be your registered companion? And I'm like, no. Registered companion slash spouse flies free. I fly to all 50 states. Pretty much fly everywhere for free. And your spouse flies free, your kids fly free, and your parents are taxed. So I'm kind of got annoyed. Like, you know, why does everybody keep asking me, you know, can they be my registered companion? Like, I don't even know you. And I don't assume that... I don't know. I'm okay. I'm going to just say go into dating a flight attendant. Interested in them. Like, if I was not a flight attendant, I would not have met any of the men that... Okay, it kind of well. Yes, say, you finally getting it. Come to it as if, you know, you're dating somebody. Like, you're interested in them. Like, I'm just telling you, like, that's just going to tick off a lot of flight attendants. Like, don't do that. Don't. Because it's just annoying. Like, it just makes you want to be like, makes you want to roll your eyes and smack your teeth in them. Like, for real? Like, why? Why? <laughs> it's just almost like it's rude. It's rude. <laughs> I've met some flight attendants who are so excited to be dating somebody that... You know, y'all's first week, they'd be like, would you like to be on my registered companion list or my fake spouse? Asking, you know, who you got on your benefits because for me, you're going to get blocked. And well, I don't really care to be your friend. Like, I just think that's just so rude. Um, Just kind of know that we fly so much. Most flight attendants maybe have eight to 10 days off in a month. So 30 days, I only have between eight to 10 days off. Me, I got eight because I like to work. I only got eight days off. I'm going to screenshot you my schedule, show you my off days, and boom. If I have Friday night off, supposed to be back in Charlotte at 9 o'clock, and I get stuck in Birmingham, Alabama, and I can't get there till midnight, you cannot trip or be mad. Like, it's not my fault. Like, I can't help that I'm, you know, stuck because maintenance, weather, crew member passed out or whatever. Like... If you get mad or irritated when a flight attendant says, you know, I'm stuck or delayed, <sighs> well, you're going to be mad for a really long time. Your little feelings is going to be hurt because and it's, it's a patience thing. Like, you just can't have reservations at Cheesecake Factory Friday night at 7 o'clock. I may not make it back because we didn't leave till such and such time or... We had to divert somewhere or, <coughs> excuse me, you just never know. So when it comes to dating a flight attendant, but you have to be understanding to their schedule, the flexibility of maybe working on weekends. I may work every holiday in a whole year. Um, I may be late to meeting you somewhere or, you know, I couldn't get a flight. That's another big one. But because we fly free, we fly on any open seats on a plane. Dating somebody in another country, it was kind of complicated. I mean, not really, but because I would send him my work schedule, like, you know, what off days I would have that month because... I would say maybe the most complicated thing of dating somebody in another country would be if there's um, a time change and the commute to get to him. So the guy I dated and Turks and Caicos from Charlotte, that was almost maybe like a two hour flight. But if you think about it, if you're working four days, let's say you're working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you get done, done on a trip on Thursday. And then you have Friday and Saturday off. And you start another trip on Sunday. You technically only have Friday off because you need to maybe start trying to get back home Saturday afternoon and night so you can start your trip on Sunday. Knowing that a lot of people fly and travel on the weekends, 
almost, it would be, I hated going to see him on the weekends because a lot of seats would be full because most people travel on the weekends. So it's like when you date somebody with that, like when you're that far um, apart, you kind of have to take that in consideration as well. I don't really know what advice I would give for that one besides patience. Um, if they're really interested in you and not your benefits, time only tells. They either want to go further than when I want to go as far as sex, kids, marriage, or they wanted my benefits as far as my registered companion, a buddy pass. Um, Can I get them on um, as a flight attendant or hook them up with somebody that's a flight attendant? So this makes me roll my eyes and that's why you just don't get a response back from me because... Oh, why I haven't? Why am I still single with a flight attendant? <laughs> he has not landed. He is still flying. Oh, you want to go on a date? What are your intentions? What, what do you want? Like, I'm so glad my dad raised me like that. He said, Shayla, all men have an agenda. And growing up, I'm just such a deep thinker that I'd be like, agenda? <laughs> Like he has something that he wants to do every day. <laughs> ah! And I'll ask men, you know, men think I'm funny. Like, oh, you so funny, blah, blah, blah. Like, no, dude, I'm dead serious. Like, what are your intentions? Um, Giving your number to somebody, like let's say you're a flight attendant, um, either work on the flight or you're, you know, person watching this video and you are interested in giving a flight to your number on a flight, I'm guilty. I did do that. I gave my number to one guy. Um, he was in the military, and he just looked so good, and he smelled amazing. I'm really into smells. I think I believe smells wipe me off my feet. <laughs> if you smell good, boy, let's just go get married. <laughs> Proverbs eighteen twenty two says that a man that finds a wife finds a good thing, and obtains favor from the Lord. I may have talked about being on Tinder and flying different cities to different countries. Um, it's not like I was flying to, I guess, find a husband or just so desperate that I just needed to have be with somebody. At the same time, answering questions. Um, I'm not in a rush for a relationship or for marriage. I am waiting for God to send me the man for me because... What I've learned from dating all these men was... You're not it, you're not it, you're not it. Definitely not it, not it, not it. So, I mean, it's not always a bad thing when a date doesn't go through or it seems like you're flying somewhere to meet somebody and it's a fail, but it really wasn't. Wants to find that one for them. I'm not looking. If it does happen, I'm not going to stop it. I am open to whatever... God's direction is for my life, but when it comes to having this job, sometimes it is complicated, but when two people really want something and they work really hard to make it work, it'll work. And of course, at everything, if you keep God first, you know, most definitely, it will work and be successful for you and your future spouse. So hit the ground running and have a fake smile all day long and just tell the passengers thank you for flying with us and please put your bag in the overhead compartment or the seat in front of you. Please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Make sure your tray table is in the stowed upright lock position or side position. There's a silver knob on the right or left hand side of your armrest. If you hit that, your seat will come in the upright position. It must remain in position for takeoff and landing. So, I'm going to say that a whole bunch of times today. So, drink my water so I don't get cotton mouth. And um, I will see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.